I don't even say that. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick kind of 10 minute video into making a simple ish title screen in After Effects. Um, planned it out already, and this is in essence what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a whole kind of setup of the film course. We're gonna have like a 3D camera rotate through 3D space. Um, sounds a lot simpler than it is. But in essence, can I get it? It's gonna go kind of right, left, work your way through. So, gonna get it, camera's gonna rotate, go that way, rotate again, that way, rotate again, and so on, until it's covered the whole page. Um, gonna now switch to the um, Mac recording of After Effects. Again, sound will change probably, probably come a lot louder. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, you're joining me now, and I've got the composition loaded up. Um, basically, it's just the text from the previous um, piece of paper that I showed on the video uh, a second ago. I've brought it in. Um, just a quick note, we've made it the size of what we want it. So in this case, 4,000 pixels by 5, uh, 4,500. And it's running at 50 frames a sec. Not really that important. Just make sure the duration is over what you want it to be. Okay, so now we're going to make a new comp. And this is... Um, for, so we're going to make the camera on it, so we're going to call it text follow, and we're just going to bring in the um, text comp from previous that we just made. Boom, helps if I actually set the resolution up correctly. Um, just going to trash this and bring it back get the correct specs. So, new comp, and we're going to use this to our resolution. So we're going to do one, uh, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to make it 10 seconds long. Um, this is where you basically just set it up. And we're going to be using 24 frames a sec. Like that. And just to give it a name. So, text follow is it. Now we're just going to bring in the text comp from previous. And we're going to toggle on 3D layer. Okay. So now you've got a 3D layer within this 2D layer. So now we're going to go to compass uh, layer. New camera. And we bring bring in a 35mm camera and we give this text following camera and we're gonna give it a name. Um, not much to know about it, but then we're gonna be using a 35mm uh, just to get the correct depth of field that we want. And that pretty seem pretty good for me. Okay. So now we've got the camera, which is a 3D camera, it can only read the 3D layer. So we're gonna change the layers over and the view perspective so we can animate it and get it to exactly where we want. So if you see now when we drag, we get animated at the top, so we can get to where we want. So, I'm just going to get to the beginning, which is up here. So we're not on the DFGA. Toggle the two arrows down, and get the transform. And now, using a slightly robust feature, we can uh, just bring it in and get it to the zoom we want. What you're going to see is what's in the top right frame. So, let's get in, let's move around a bit to make it a bit easier. So, of course, we want it slightly sideways. So, you're going to be using orientation, it's going to be this one. We're just going to get to correct orientation. So, we do around uh, 315 degrees, is about right. Okay, so now we've got the camera like that, and we want to keyframe it, so just toggle that button on. And let's say we're going to have it change every couple of seconds. So, every second, let's say. So, at 24 frames a sec, that's second one. So, we're going to have it animating again, and removing. So, we're just going to keyframe the top three, and then we're just going to move it around. So... After one second we want it pretty much to about there. Then we're just going to animate the rotate again. We're going to bring it this way. And we're going to change it to 45 degrees. You basically just do this for everything you want. And after a couple of minutes of doing it, you should have keyframes in each one. So you see now it just rotates between point A and point B. Um, because I bugged up the keyframes in the first one, I'll have to just quickly re-keyframe that. Just drag it up and move it in a touch. So, there we go. Basically, it's just a matter of tweaking. Um, I'm now going to quickly do it and then 
touch up at the end of what I've managed to do. Okay, welcome back for part two. Right, basically what I've done now is just light it up using the virtual camera. And now I can just scroll through and just follow what I wanted. Um, the only difference is from earlier, I've extended it to 15 seconds from 10. And I also had to do that on the text comp as well as the text follow. And then it was just a simple case of just dragging them out. Um, just want to show something on the keyframes. I've right clicked them, go to keyframe assistant, and press the easy ease. And that just makes them flow a bit easier. So if we just have a quick run preview, as you can see, it's already previewed out most of the way. It's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Slows down a bit there, so I'm just going to make a tweak. Just going to grab those keyframes, budge them up to about there, budge these up, put them to about there. Let's just give them a few more. And those two, I'll just bring down a touch. Let's tweak these. Since I know what they are. Yeah. And basically, that'll just take, change the timing a touch. It should make it just look a bit smoother. Okay, what I'm going to do now is import that out. So I'm going to get the render queue, drag text follow into it, and now we've got our render settings. Um, just going to output it as uh, QuickTime Movie. Don't want to mess with any of this. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Render settings, going to put it out as pretty much what they're all set to now, look at <laughs> so I can't really show that. I'm going to put it out to, on the desktop, call it text follow, like what the comp's called, so I'll just start that rendering. Uh, it's probably going to take about two minutes or something. So you'll see now exactly what I've done. Um, I'll be using these for the intro onto it, onto the rest of the movies, so yeah. It's not a bad tutorial. Um, things I could have made, mentioned a bit better, and you would have liked to have seen is dragging out. Um, you can go over my After Effects unit layout, and I'll go over how to rotate text through uh, onto compositions, and I'll go over the user interface a bit more. But it's quite a simple, effective way of using a virtual camera. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, any questions, feel free to throw them in the um, comment box below. There's also a link to my blog as usual, and uh, you can leave feedback and see what I'm up to on there. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.